Victorian flooding closes major roads as storm and rain leaves hundreds without power. Hundreds home across Victoria are without power and some regional townships are starting to be cut off due to the flooding water after heavy rain lash stated over last night. 12 watch and act warnings are in place across the north, northeast and central areas and advice level warnings are in place for almost all the states. Victorians are being urged to avoid all unnecessary travel for the next 24 hours. The state emergency service received 770 of call for assistance overnight, including 176 in the last hour. The volunteer branches in the London Mail region has taken 319 calls between 8 and 9 a.m. alone. About 9,000 homes were without power overnight, according to Power Corps. Near 600 properties are still without power after wind reached more than 100 km per hour overnight in the Alps and more than 70 km per hour in Melbourne's north. Roads and river warning. Some regional townships are starting to be cut off as flooding water closed roads and access point. Vic Traffics has urged drivers to follow the tour sign and warned that some motorists has encountered difficulties after following GPS direction instead. Major flooding warnings remain in places across the states, with Victoria's emergency management count emissions, saying the Thompson Dam in western Victoria could spill for the first time in 30 years. The Thompsons, Alden, and Darmouth dams, which are already full, are expected to spill over the next few days. SES Chef Officer Tim Weishbush said most of the state's driver north of the divide were expected to reach major or moderate flooding level. We are certainly expecting the tempo to increase now. We've got to watch and act for major flooding warnings out of Camp Hayes River, the Oven and the Kings, he said. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.